Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 4.13 from the chapter number 4. Okay, the problem is the other subtractor circuit of figure 4.20b. This figure is inside from the chapter. Okay, has the following values for mode input M and the data inputs a and b okay these are the input values okay we are given for that circuit in each case for each of these five cases determine the values of the four sum outputs the kdc and the overflow v so this is the circuit from the figure this is figure 4.20 b now we are given with few combinations okay few input and mode combinations okay so for that we have to find out the value of the sum the sum value s3 s2 s0 and s1 okay and the carry output and the overflow output we have to find out okay now let us consider one by one so in the first case we have m is equal to zero so m value is zero so zero will be applied here also okay and zero is applied here zero 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 and zero okay so these are connected then we have a value is zero one 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 a value is zero one oh sorry one one and one okay so we have these inputs then we have b value is zero one zero one zero one zero one now let us find out so m value is zero so zero is already applied here okay then we have zero and one so xor output will be one so this one is already there okay zero and zero xor output is zero okay zero and one one so zero and zero so zero so we have got this output so this one is here this one is also here then one is here and and this zero is here now what we have to do we have to do this full adder operation so we have one plus one plus zero so one plus one sum will be equal to zero then and the carry will be one plus one is one zero two that means one zero so sum is zero and carry is one now zero plus one plus one again sum is zero and carry is one then we have one plus one plus one sum is one and carry is also one okay so one will be applied here then we have this zero plus zero plus one so sum will be one and carry is zero zero okay so c value we have got c equal to 0 and v equal to 0 and 1 v equal to 1 okay now let us fill up this table so we'll have some value will be 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 and this c value is carry output is 0 okay and v is 1 okay so for the first case we have found out the sum and carry and the overflow values okay now let us consider the second combination in the second case also m is zero okay so put a zero here okay zero then we have again zero here okay so zero will be applied here this one you can zero okay similar to the previous cases zero will be applied all to all these xor gates this zero will be applied to all these XOR gates. Okay, so whatever B out will be, sorry, whatever B values we have directly, it will be applied to the input of this full adder. Now we have to see the inputs. One zero zero one. For A we have one zero zero one. One zero zero and one. For B also we have one zero zero one. So we have to put B values also. One. 0 0 and 1 okay so first of all let us see the output of this xor gate so 0 and 1 it will be 1 0 and 0 so it is 0 0 and 0 it is 0 
then we have 0 and 1 it will be 1 now let us see the addition operation so it will so we'll have 1 plus 1 plus 0 so sum will be 0 and carry will be 1 0 plus 1 plus 1 so we'll have 0 sum and carry is 1 okay then we have 0 plus 1 plus 1 it will be sum will be 0 and carry will be 1 okay so 1 will be applied here this again we have 1 plus 0 plus 1 1 plus 1 is sum is 0 and carry is 1 so this will be 1 so we have got this c value is 1 and v value will be 1 and 1 it will be 0 c value 1 v value is 0 okay and the sum value will be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 then we have m equal to 1 in the third case m equal to 1 so 1 will be all here 1 1 1 and 1 so this 1 will be applied here okay so inputs are 1 1 0 0 for a 1 1 0 and 0 for b we have 1 0 0 0 so for b we have 1 0 0 and 0 now let us see so here we have 1 okay so if we have 1 whatever be the b value it will be inverted okay so b value is 0 so we'll have 1 here here we have 0 so it will be 1 so here in this case third case we have 0 so it will be 1 and in the fourth case we have 1 so we'll have 0 here now we have got these values so 0 is here okay this 0 value is here and this 1 value is here and 1 value okay now let us see 1 plus 0 plus 1 so what we'll have it will be 0 and carry will be 1 okay again we have 1 plus 0 plus 1 so sum will be 0 and carry will be 1 okay then we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 sum will be 1 and carry is also 1 okay this one is applied here again we have to see 0 plus 1 plus 1 will have 0 and carry will be 1 so we'll have one value here now we can write it as that means this one is here okay 1 1 the output will be 0 so here we can write the c value is, is 1 and v value is 0 and the sum value will be 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 okay and similarly we will find out for the remaining cases now let me write down for them and for the fourth case we have m is equal to 1 okay so m is 1 here then this one is will be applied all to them all of them okay all of the xor gates so one input of this xor gates will be one okay so whatever be the b value it will be inverted here okay so a value we have zero one zero one so a value we have zero one zero one so this one will be here zero one then 0 then b value we have 1010 so b value we have 1010 okay so whatever we have it will be inverted okay so here we will have 0 therefore it is 1 so 1 it will be 0 we have 0 it will be 1 and we have 1 it will be 0 okay so here we'll have this 1 plus 1 plus 1 so sum will be 1 and carry will be also 1 then we have this 1 plus 0 plus 0 1 plus this 0 plus 0 okay so we'll have sum is 1 and the carry will be 0 then 0 plus 1 plus 1 so we'll have sum is 1 
and carry is also one okay so one will be applied here okay then we have this one plus zero plus zero so we'll have sum is one and carry is zero okay so we have got c value is zero and carry value is one so zero one will be be one and the overflow value is one okay and the sum value will be one 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 in the last case we have m equal to one and this a value all are zero okay a value all are zero we have zero 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 and zero okay and b value we have zero 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 one b value we have one this one is zero 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 okay so whatever we have in b it will be inverted because m value is one okay so we'll have here m b value will be so it is one it will be zero one 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 this m value is one here also in this case now we can do the summation zero plus zero plus one so sum will be one and kd will be zero then we have one plus zero plus zero so sum will be one and kd is zero okay again one plus zero plus zero so we'll have sum is one and kd is zero okay so zero is applied here then we have 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 plus 1 so we'll have sum is 0 and carry is 1 okay so we have one value here and carry here we have 0 1 0 so output will be 1 p value will be 1 okay p value is 1 so c is 1 as well as p is also 1 so carry is 1 and p value is also 1 so here we can see that we have summation is 0, 1, 1, 1. So this, these are the sum, carry and the overflow values. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please put it in the comment section below. Also like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.